What is happening, Magnesites? All of you been crying and whining and pissing and moaning, begging Stone Cold Road Austin for a GTA 5 review. Well, all you big old pieces of trash, you got it. So, <clears throat> I am now a believer. Since the inception of GTA 5, I have never been interested in it. I would hear people talk about it. I would hear people talk about, hey, you're running around, you're robbing people, you're killing people, you're doing hookers, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it just didn't appeal to me. It just felt like it was advertising degenerate behavior. Now, there are a lot of games, depending on what you're playing, there's certain things, but majority of the time, you know, you're playing a good guy trying to do something, you know, and this, it was just like, what? That's what you, why is that fun? I don't understand that. Well, a few years later, when I started gaming on YouTube, people were like, yo, you got to play GTA. And I kept saying, no, I'm not going to play it. People didn't understand why. And I made a video saying why I won't play it. <laughs> and people were in the comments. I do remember people saying, you don't understand though. Like, you know, they've got stories. Um, there's more to it than what you think, and I just couldn't see it. And, you know, recently, I think uh, even, like, Andrew Tate and his brother, or maybe it was just Tristan Tate, you know, they were talking about how, like, you know, like, what? Like, you're shooting cops and you're doing this and that? Like, what? How is that, you know? And I say to them, and any disbelievers that don't understand it, it's like playing a movie. Just like... Many people love mobster movies, Goodfellas, you know, stuff like that, Casino. You're going in, you're playing the bad guys. However, the beauty is in how it's written. GTA 5, for example, which is the only one that I played, which is the one that I'm reviewing right now. The story is absolutely hilarious. It draws you in. It is a parody of American life and LA specifically. And it is so on point about a lot of stuff. Everything from our movies to our cartoons to our TVs. Yes, you can run around just shooting anybody, but you can go to the movies. You can sit down, you can watch TV. You can go buy clothes. You can go, you know, yes, you can go to the strip club. You can pick up hookers. You can Yes, yes, you get into fights with the cops and everything, but it's 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 so much more than just that. I think a lot of us were maybe um, fooled a little by maybe the controversy that was going on about it. Now, maybe when it first came out, maybe that's all it was. I, I don't know. I'm just talking about GTA 5, though. So, the game is what? what I heard it's like, what, 10... 13 years old or something like that and it's like I can't believe like I was watching someone talk about how bad uh Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was doing and they went to Twitch and they showed you the top games and GTA 5 is number two I'm like it's all these years later and I assume it's the online which I do plan on playing. I'm like, I got to understand this online stuff. And I'm going to need you guys help. I need to understand this. You know what I'm saying? But the game is absolutely entertaining from beginning to end. It has several endings. And the characters, you do really fall in love with the characters. You really, you find them hilarious. That's the love you have for them. They are so funny. Their banter. The, watching them interact with each other. All of their dialogue is good. From what I understand, uh, with like Franklin and Lamar, like there's a point where I'm just like, yo, whoever wrote this, like this is authentic. They know black people. But I heard that the guys that did their voices were kind of like, all right, you guys write it, but we're going to do it our way. 
And I was like, yeah, because I was like, this is too authentic. Like, a lot of times you will see black people in movies or even video games. And you may say this about whatever race or, you know, culture you come from. And you're like, you know, that's not exact. That's not really us. It's more of like a, I don't know. Like, it's, it feels like someone wrote this that doesn't really know who we are or how we act. It was so on point with them. I was like, I know dudes like this or have heard of dudes like this. Like, this is nuts. I got to say my favorite, though, is somewhere between Trevor and Lamar. If Lamar was in there more, it probably would have been him. I heard he was supposed to be in there, but the uh, the guy who voiced him had some legal problems or something like that. But anyway, which is some stereotypical-ish. Um, but I really, really enjoyed uh, Michael Trevor Franklin, um, the uh, his idiot son, uh, his wife, the uh, the runner exercising lady that we kept running into. She was funny, like just the whole cast is 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 likable. You know, it's like they need to do a movie, but if they do it, they better do it right. And I wouldn't be mad if they didn't. Because the game is so good and so popular that they are treading on dangerous territory if they do not do it right. Especially these days, because you know they would walk it up. So, I would say that all the graphics hold up today. Um, I may be playing a remastered one, I'm not sure though. I didn't say remastered, but um, I think I've heard that they've been remastered and fixed over the years. Um, I played it on my PS5. The controls were tight. It took a little getting used to the whole, you know, mini map on the side because you're looking for it. And, but, you know, like you're dependent on the mini map a lot, a lot. It's, it's a major, major, major player in the game. So just remember that if you do play it, um, I figured it out a couple of sessions and after that I was fine. If anything, after that, if I ever got lost or did something or whatever, it was just me doing whatever I felt like doing because it is a game where you can do that. Um, like I said, all the characters were voice acted perfectly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, perfectly. The storyline is crazy, but it absolutely works. It, it's definitely a multiple heist movie. It's a heist movie. That's what you're playing. And, you know, zipping and zooming around the city and the different cars and being able to, make, you know, customize your different cars. I didn't do a lot of the side stuff that you can do, but I did go to the movies. I did sit down and watch TV. You won't find me watching TV in my live streams because they all got claimed. All the TV shows got claimed. It was some of people's favorite parts of watching me. Because they were like, yo, I never ran into anybody that actually sat and watched all of the TV shows. I would sit for half hour, 45 minutes and watch every single show on a particular channel. And they're all hilarious. All hilarious. And they wouldn't hold up today. They'd, be, they'd, they'd get canceled for making the stuff that they made. The jokes there, everybody would be, that's offensive. That's offensive. That's offensive. That's offensive. I'm triggered. <laughs> so GTA 5 would be trending on Twitter for all the insane people to bother. But anyway, um, the graphics hold up. The gameplay is tight. The music's good. They've got all the music from like 80s and stuff. And it's, it's all copyrighted music. So, you know, if you live stream it, unless you want copyright claims, you know, but otherwise you can actually make sure that nobody else can hear it. So it'll just be a stream to your ears, but not to the people. And so you got plenty of good 80s and 90s, um, anything from pop to R&B to rap, talk radio, skits, everything is just funny, man. Uh, there's a lot to do in this game. And I know there's a lot that I haven't done and uh, the best ending is where everyone lives. As far as I'm concerned, I've seen all three endings. The best ending is where everyone lives. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I did not uninstall it yet. I plan on coming back to it. 
Um, and I do want to play other ones. I don't know when, but I'll eventually get to them. And when 6 comes out, hopefully they get it right and they weren't taken over by everything that's going on today. Because as good as GTA 5 is, I understand everything now. I get it. I understand why everyone loves it. Because I love it. It's not what you think it is. It's an extremely enjoyable game. And this game is a 5 out of 5. Woos! If I missed anything, if I didn't cover anything on this review, I'm sorry. But you have got a happy camper who absolutely loves this game. And I hope that they do the same with GTA 6. And at some point, I will play um, Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope that's as good as that. I hope it is because I'm not really a fan of Westerns. I hope that they do just as a good job with that. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think if you enjoyed my review. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ciao. 10 billion subscribers.